Hey YouTube, back again with another video. Had the Tesla Mobile Tech come over and check out our steering wheel controls. Was having an issue with the scroll wheel and the voice command button. So they said they wanted to just replace both of the buttons on either side. So this video is gonna show you exactly how the Mobile Tech replaces these two buttons. So if you guys are not on a warranty and wanna do this yourself, it seemed pretty simple. Everything is really plug and play after you get this part of the steering wheel off that you see sitting in the guy's lap right here. He also checked out a couple of plastic pieces that were under the front that had cracked the little tabs off. So he'd ordered parts for those and he's gonna replace them. Supporting this channel is as easy as just hitting that subscribe button. Thanks in advance. We'll run through this video right now he's taking out the two secret screws at the end of this when he puts them back on you get a better angle of where those two little secret screws on and those two screws hold this front face of the steering wheel on so what you guys just saw him do on the center touchscreen is he told me that he's actually powering off the display to i guess ensure that nothing happens when he takes off and unplugs this steering wheel um, and all the connectors associated with the steering wheel. So here you get a better idea of what's on the back side of the steering wheel. So this bigger metal bracket, he had to loosen up, uh, I guess, to get enough play and then take out additional screws that are holding in each of the controllers or each of the uh, scroll wheels with the two buttons on top. And those two screws are what holds it, holds each of those uh, parts of the electronics into this steering wheel assembly here. So my mobile tech also told me that our service center that he works out of is actually getting three Model S service vehicles that have been retrofitted to be used by Tesla mobile techs. And he also told me that this is going to be only P85Ds. And so he's actually gonna let me do a video on that so stay tuned to the channel video on the Tesla Model S mobile service vehicle and how it's been modified to fit their needs is coming to the channel soon. Now back to the steering wheel buttons. So he's almost got, all right, so there's the second set of buttons. There's that left side, which plugs into the right side there. So one of these sides gets power and it passes it over through that cable that you see there. Here are the brand new parts that he's gonna take out and pop back in. It looks like the left side of the steering wheel is a little bit easier to get out. He spent less time getting that side out versus that first side. So if you guys are doing this by yourself, just keep that in mind that one of the sides might be easier than the other to get out. So I wanted to speed this part of the video up for you guys. All he's doing is putting the new controls in and those go in exactly the same way that the old ones come out. Once you get them set properly in there, each of the sides take two screws and those two screws are what holds that into the steering wheel assembly. Once they're securely in there with the screws, that's when he goes in and plugs all the, um, the cords or the connectors back into each of the controllers that gives them power and allows it to talk to the vehicle. So now that both of those are in, that's when he's going to that bracket that I pointed to earlier in the video, that's when he's gonna tighten that bracket back up and to remove that play that's required um, in order to service this part of the steering wheel. Okay, so now for getting this thing back in here, first connect all the connectors so you might have to hold the steering wheel assembly, that like center part that you see him holding while he's connecting it. And then you simply just press it straight in, making sure that you don't pinch any of the connections or the wires and make sure it's setting properly on there. So you can see how he squeezes the top and bottom to make sure that they're all on there. Then he wakes the car back up. So now that the car is awake, it's time to put those two last screws that he took out first, which are located behind the steering wheel. So we're gonna move over here to get you a better view of that. So once all those screws are tightened, the two hidden ones in the back, he's gonna function test all six of the buttons. There's three buttons 
including the scroll wheel on uh, each side of the steering wheel. So we check them all and they're all working great. Problem is fixed. Another fantastic visit from the Tesla mobile tech. It was so nice to have this problem solved right from my garage. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to wait at a service center. I didn't have to be inconvenienced. He simply sent me a text message and asked me what was a convenient time for him to come. Excellent service. This guy was awesome. This is my favorite part of Tesla service because of how easy it makes it and you're not inconvenienced by having your car serviced, which is not typical for the auto industry. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Keep it locked to the channel. More videos are coming soon.